we'll have um, a couple of notable speakers over there. Yes, down in South Bank. 77 South Bank. No, I don't. Your officer, it could be the enemy. Well, we're about to head down to their headquarters. Yeah, just me and one of the other boys head down there and make sure that their workers that work inside their headquarters understand what they're doing to the poor workers down here. Because they may not know because they're inside insulated from reality. Knowledge is power. We Thank you. Knowledge sure is power. So, why are you here? Well, we've had about 53 blokes sacked and thrown out into the middle of the cold Melbourne winter and their only crime is wanting a fair day's pay for a fair day's work. So unfortunately we have a big greedy multinational in here who doesn't pay any tax. Where's he come from? Called? Well Saab Miller at the moment is a South African entity and they've bought this sort of industrial apartheid to Melbourne. So they don't pay tax and apparently their CEO is in for 62 million dollars this year. Not a bad little payday. So we, we don't think that he probably needs to dip no. his hand into the pockets of these blokes. We think that's probably a little bit out no. there for blue collar workers to be subsidising yeah. the lifestyles of millionaires and billionaires. So Thank you. It's, um, yeah, they've offered, they've gone back to the work choices sort of era, common law contracts, individual non-union agreements for each worker, you know. So work choices, it's still alive and well. Yeah. Not dead, buried and cremated, Malcolm or no. Tony. No. Not at all. No. So unfortunately, we're in a situation here where um, we've been out for five weeks now, five long cold weeks, and the company is not budging. They want a workforce that will do what they want, when they want, how they want, and for exactly how much mm -hmm. they want. But we seem to think that this is a first world democratic society, yes. and we should have some sort of input into our working lives, considering we spend more than a third of our life yes. at work these days. So. That's what the new woman who's going to take the uh, British Prime Minister's place is saying, we all want to all work together for a, 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 um, uh, an equal society, not just for those who are privileged. Isn't that mm. nice? It's nice. But she's but saying that's all she's saying. Yeah, she's a Tory though. I don't trust yeah, her no, as far no. as I can throw her. Sounds good. <laughs> Sounds good. But it probably froze on her lips, you would say. Yeah. So yeah. where are we? We're in Abbotsford. We're at 22 Southampton Crescent in Abbotsford. And um, people are more than welcome to come down. Every Monday morning for breakfast and Monday at lunchtime, we're having a solidarity sausage. You can come down and have a barbecue with the boys. Come right. Meet the blokes who's affected here, yeah. hear their stories. We've got all different types of blokes. We've got young blokes trying to buy their first house. We've got new parents. We've got older guys. Some people have worked here since I was 16 years of age. Some people that have done their apprenticeships here. You know, we had five apprentices that weren't spared the ax. They too are um, treated this industrial apartheid from special brand from Saab Miller. But unfortunately, you know, this is an iconic Australian brand. VB, the Cold brand? Draft, yeah. Crown Lager, you know. Yes. Um, the Bulmer Cider, Strongbow Cider, Mercury Cider, Carlton yes. Dry, Pure Blonde, all these sorts of brands, these come out of this place. And unfortunately, what was once a What's proud, place? this is the brewery here in Abbotsford. So we've got um, a botanic plant over here. We've got a couple Carlton of United here. Brewery. Carlton and United Breweries. So unfortunately, this is um, the way they're going to run their business. And they're not struggling. They don't need to do this. This is just more greed. And it's cost them millions of dollars so far. So yes, we, we know to make exactly, the point. Yeah, we know exactly how many cases are coming out of this place, and it's cost them millions. Yeah. But rather than invest millions in you know, new machinery or solar panels on yeah. top of the whole joint yeah. or, or training for their workers, or yeah. give it to charity, yeah. they've decided to spend millions of dollars laying the boot into people who've given decades of loyal service to them. It's, yeah. It's disgusting. Australian people will start buying beer from microbreweries instead? this sort of thing keeps going? Yeah, of course. I mean, when you have a company like this come from overseas and buy out an Australian company, then they don't pay taxes. Oh, no, we're so they're not contributing to Medicare, education, infrastructure, pensions, none of this. <laughs> they're not helping Australia in any way, shape or form. No. So if they're not going to respect the Australian people, why should we respect them? If they're not going to respect the people in the society within which they run their business, yeah. why should we give them any business? Yeah. You know, they're slitting their own throats. This isn't the sort of behaviour that Australian people are just going to sit by and condone, no. you know. It, and Mr disgusting. Adam Smith, who was the father of capitalism, don't forget, warned the owners of all businesses globally 
that your workers are your best natural resource and you must treat them first with respect, otherwise your business will fail. Thank you. That's what he said, yeah? Uh, it's true. And your yeah. name, sorry? My name's Steve Disson, I'm an organiser with the Electrical Thank Trade you. Union. And also the Electrical Trade Union, that one of the reasons I'm here, they backed me up when I was thrown out in 2012. So I'm returning the favour. Comrades are comrades, mate. mate. Yeah, solidarity forever, isn't it? Yes. Always count on you in a blue, Thank mate. Thank you, comrade. You're welcome. We're Thank going you. now to the church owners.